Good morning, welcome back to another children's message video. If you're new here, you haven't seen the videos yet, my name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. And so welcome to the video. Um, this is how I've been delivering and will continue to deliver children's messages to you all for the foreseeable future. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about real versus fake and how do we figure it out? So grab the kids, get a cozy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes and let's talk. Okay, so real versus fake, and how do we figure out the truth from what's not true, right? In today's world, it can be sometimes, actually often, difficult for us to tell the difference between something that's real and something that's fake. Uh, for example, when you watch TV, there's commercials or infomercials. They're all trying to sell something, and they promise these amazing, crazy results from these products that they're trying to sell which many times we discover later on uh, turn out to be false claims. They don't actually work that well or they break after you use it the first time, right? Another example would be photos or videos that you can see on the internet. Those things can be so easily changed to have the appearance of being real when really they're not true at all. Uh, there's things like Photoshop, or it might just be a prank video, so it's all set up and it's all fake when it looks real. Uh, so we got to be careful of those things too. They can easily trick us uh, to think that they are true when they're actually false. Other times, people place their hopes and their trust in, and, and dependence in something or someone so much that it starts to become like a god to them. They come to depend on that person or thing so much to meet their every single need in life. Uh, but in the end, they probably discover that they're still feeling empty inside. That hole isn't filled. Their deepest needs are still left unmet. Because the truth is, false gods, like those things that we put our hopes and trust in that can't necessarily help us at all, False gods will always give us false hope. There's only one God who can meet all of our needs, who we can totally depend on all of the time, and who we can put our full trust in always. And that's God the Father, our Creator, the Lord God Almighty. I want you to listen to this uh, little passage of scripture. This is from Isaiah 44. This is our first uh, scripture lesson for today's reading. Um, and this is what it says in verse 6. This is what the Lord, the King of Israel, and its Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, says. I'm the first and I am the last. There's no God but me. The Lord God Almighty, as it says in this, uh, in this scripture, is real and his promises are very real and his love for us is very real. He's the only God that we should and can depend on at all times. And now I know I said I could help you figure out what's the difference. How do you discern or figure out what's real and what's fake? Well, when it comes to this, when it comes to God, what we really need to do is check everything with scripture. Go to your Bible and check what it says about the things you're learning, the things you're hearing or seeing about God and the church and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, all of that stuff. Check in with scripture every time you hear something new to make sure that it adds up to what God has said and told us and revealed to us in the Bible. Because the Bible is God's word directly from him to us. So anything that we hear about God and Jesus should line up with what scripture says about all of that too. So that's how we figure out, or figure out, but see if something, some claim about God or our faith or Jesus or the Holy Spirit is true is by checking in with scripture to make sure it all matches up. All right, let's pray and then I'll let you guys go enjoy your beautiful Sunday morning together. <laughs> so fold your hands, close your eyes and bow your heads with me and let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for being real. 
and for being the one that we can always depend on to meet our every single need. Help us to always look to you when we need answers and guidance for our lives. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Okay, I'll let you guys go enjoy your Sunday morning. Don't forget to check out our Sunday virtual worship on our website, pplc.org, or also post it on our Facebook page uh, to catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon there and some worship music and all that stuff. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.